Hi everybody, tonight we will do a little monkey. First we will cast on the machine with brown yarn. We are doing one in front, one in the back for each row for the first row. This video is it's 35 minutes so if you need to go to pee pee room or get something to drink, put pause and come back. <laughs> so for the body you will need 50 rows of brown for the body. So I put it a little bit faster because <laughs> it's a long video and if I didn't put all the little fast part like this the video is two hours it's kind of very long so I decided to cut it a little bit and I will slow it down like this so, so when it's a cast off you go with your yarn needle and grab one stitch at a time and this video if you're newbies it's good to watch because there's a lot of technique but maybe you won't be comfortable to make that one for the first project so uh, maybe it could be better if you start with hat or scarf or mitten and come back with that, the, that uh, pattern maybe later when you get more comfortable with the machine and all those techniques so that's uh, just a suggestion but if you are newbies and you're very good Maybe you could. I'm not the person that tell you that you're not able to, but maybe <laughs> just think about it and keep that for later. So the body is done. So now it's time to get the head cast on. So I will start with beige, close the yarn feeder and I will crank. I will give all the numbers during the six minute, six first minute of this video. So don't worry if you don't see it right now, it will be there. See? So you do 11 beige and 35 brown for the head. So I did a color change and I will attach it by making a little knot right here. One knot and two knots there and then I would crank it very fast so 11 and 35 time to cast off crank your machine make sure it go in front of the yarn feeder to release your stitch from the machine and then you remove it with the yarn feeder not the yarn feeder the wool needle and grab stitch at the one stitch at a time make sure you don't lose any because you don't want any drop stitch almost finish there put that aside now it's time to prepare the little paws you will need four paws so you will do that four times okay so I cast on with beige and I will give you the number of row not far you see the blue the blue little stitch marker I did every 10 rows I will add this so that way I don't have to count on a paper and lose my number in my head so I count every 10 rows I will put a blue stitch marker like this so it will be easier for me so and it's good too because the paw is 10 and 40 and 10 so I'm finished with the beige it's 10 the thing with the stitch marker like this is, is like if you need like a uh, 60 row or you just prepare your little uh, stitch marker before and then you don't have to count when you don't have any more it's done you got like 60 rows so cast off this is the the paw so you do that four times And now I will do the ears, it's two times, and you need 18 rows. So put that in your notebook. Never forgot, never forget to put that in your notebook. So that way when you you be ready to do it, you will have it. So cast off. And for the for this video I used a brown, it's a chocolate brown. Uh, Bernat Premium and it was uh, mm -hmm, 
it was 198 grams seven or seven ounces and I I use all of it for the brown I didn't have a lot less left so if you want to do that project make sure you have enough of your uh, your brown or the color you choose to be the dominant so that's the ears I close both sides and I will shape it like a ears like this I need to and I will show you after how I finish it so now it's time to do the tails for the tails I did 75 rows 75 rows So I will put that very fast because uh, 75 rows is kind of long to crank that. And when it touched the table, roll it like this to prevent drop stitch because too much tension on your uh, needle. So time to cast off the tail. Almost finished, prepare all my pieces. I know there's a lot of pieces for this uh, pattern but it will be so cute at the end <laughs> and for the mouth you will need 20 rows 20 rows for the mouth there and time to cast off always crank in front of the yarn feeder and then you grab stitch by stitch with your wool needle and put that aside for later now it's time for the body to give that a shape of a body I will close both sides of the tube make sure you do a double knot and be careful because I, I broke my yarn I have to start over I was uh, tightening too much I forgot it was only yarn <laughs> but it's okay I fix it there so both sides are closed it's like a hat and you do like this put your hands in it so you give a shape to your body and I will attach those two together to make sure it's secure those two tail of yarn there and stretch 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 always the key stretch 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 will fix the stitch that doesn't look good so that's the head now for the head I will do the same thing close both side and I will do the same thing on this side too and then I will go like this to secure because I didn't close the the tube correctly there's a little bit of, of a hole in the middle so to fix it I will go and just grab a couple of stitch around the hole and then when I will done it all the 360 I will pull on it and it will close it the yarn the beige was a little bit uh, thicker than the brown so that's why it was harder for me to close it perfectly the first time so do the double knot like this stretch put my hand in it like a hat secure it in the middle to the middle the other side attach those two tail together I know it's a little bit faster on the screen but hope you are able to follow there we are now reaching almost 10 minutes if you still here can you put a smiley on the comment of the video please just to let me know that you are still with me at 10 minutes that would be nice I know the video is long so now the out we we have to close both sides like this and after that I will show you how to do the mattress stitch so if you are not comfortable with mattress stitch you will be it's a small piece so maybe it's gonna be better for you to understand it sometimes when it's too long we, we lost interest so when it's longer it's better 
So you put that, make sure that it's straight both sides and you will follow the same column. It's very important to, s to follow the same column. If you don't, it will be uh, all uh, crook and it won't look good, all twisted. So you grab two stitch on one side, two stitch on the other side. And then you will pull and it will create an invisible seam. I like that technique. I use that a lot in my video. So if you have a uh, little bit uh, difficulties with it, it's a nice little part of the video to learn. So I pull on it and voila, it disappears. All, clu all, clu all, cl <laughs> all cute, the invisible seams. So I will do and hide the yarn inside of it and put my little mouth aside for later. Now the ears, I have two ears and I will do the same thing for the two ears but I won't show it in the video. So I close one side like this, double knot and I will do the other side now. There. And then I will attach it with double knot and stretch it and put it one side in the other one and reach middle to middle, attach two, two tails together and I will shape it to do a ears after. I know it's not a long piece but you fix it like this and choose the side that it's better for you. There, cut it. I will choose that side so I will put that tail inside. So now I cut it and now I will, with the yarn, just grab every two stitch like this because I want it to have a, a better shape and to be equal both sides so on the monkey will look better. So every two stitch I will grab one till I get to the other side. I know we don't see a lot, it's brown color and my camera is like a, a eyes, it's very uh, changing with the, the light and everything. So you don't close it, that's the thing here. You don't close it fully, you just keep it like this, like a, a rectangular, rectangular. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now it's time to do the tail. So the tail I will close both sides like I did already for all the tube. And then I will hide those tail inside of it. And for the tail remember that you need 75 rows. If you don't have it in your notebook yet, put it in, please. So we put it straight, make sure that your colon is straight and then you go and fold it have like this and we will do mattress stitch till the end of the tail so it's kind of long so I will put it a little bit faster during it and usually I cut the place when you don't see much and I will slower when the light is better to see how to do the stitch so don't worry So I go one side and the other side one side and the other side like I said I will slower when it easier to see. So I grab two stitch on one side, two stitch on the other side. So that way it will be just perfect at the end. So you do that all the tail. All the 75 rows need to be in the mattress stitch. Almost finished, right to the end. And we'll be time to pull on my tail of yarn. <coughs> Sorry. So very important to grab all the stitches and pull. So when you pull on it, it will do the invisible seam. So 
time to attach the, the end of it and double knot and I did in the tail or keep it to attach the tail on your monkey it's up to you click so I do the same thing the other side Voila! time to remove the the stitch marker one by one with the tip of my wool needle and then I will make sure my knot is secure and prepare my little paws so I do the same thing for the four paws so I do close both end of each paw I want I won't show the four paws so make sure you check and get it correctly for later. So this one is almost done. We'll fold it inside like this. Bring my wool needle, reach the middle and reach the other side of the middle. The middle of the other side. Woohoo! And then I pull. When it, I got the two together, I will attach it with a double knot like this. And pull again. Make sure it's stretch enough. And I will hide those little tail inside. So I will do the same thing for the four. So you see it. So now it's time to prepare the head. Hide those little tail. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then I will go with the wool needle. Grab every two stitch to prepare the head we'll put it a little bit faster so that way we won't lose any time just for this so I prepared that because for the stuffing it will be easier to close the the head if I have this so time to put the stuffing in it. Stuff, stuff, stuff. So you put that enough and then you close it by pulling those two tail of yarn like this. That's it. And then you hide this inside. Put that aside and I will do the body now. The head is prepared. I will do the same thing for the, for the body. So I grab, <coughs> I grab every two stitch and <coughs> continue with my wool needle. There, almost there and put the stuffing in it stuffing stuffing close it very important and then it's ready just put the little tail inside to hide it mm -mm 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 -mm. Continue. Time to attach both together. I will grab one stitch on one side and one stitch on the other side. Like this. And I will do that a complete circle. Oh my god, my voice, sorry. <coughs> I have something to drink, but my throat is always like, ah, oh, this morning. <laughs> there, grab one stitch on one side, one stitch on the other side. I will put that a little bit faster. <clears throat> there. Keep going.
So when you get to the other tail, you will be able to grab all the stitch left on one side and the other side and then you will pull on those two to secure your two piece together. There. Put that inside. And then I will continue. Time to put the mouth on it. Put the mouth, I just go on one side. It's a vertical, horizontal uh, sewing. It's not hard. You just have to follow the same column on the top, on the mouth. And then you grab on the same row on the brown part on the head. So I go like this. And I just hold it with my hands. But if you need stitch marker to keep it together, go ahead and use stitch marker. Me, yeah. I never remember where I put mine, so <laughs> I have some. I never use it because I don't know where it is. So I use my hands. It works. <laughs> so I will continue like this till I reach the other side. It's a little bit difficult first, but when you you get out to do it, oh my god, you will do that all the time to sew your your pieces together. Me, it's one of my favorite. I think you notice this because I use it a lot in my video. So if you're not comfortable with it, it's time to learn it. <laughs> Anyways. Attach those two together that the mouth is attached. Hide the tail. And then cut it. Bring some red. To do the lips. I didn't do anything very confusing on it. I just go and grab like two stitch, two stitch, two rows. And the little space between them and then I will come back just use something that comfortable for me to do if you have another option for their lips give it a go never go never know maybe it's better than mine so my suggestion so I come back on my stitches I go on the top and grab the other one I use the same stitch. There. Oh, my Spanish. Oh, my. My throat, my throat is better now. Sorry for that. I was losing my, my voice. There. And we reach to the other side. We will attach those two tails together. I like these pairs already. <laughs> look, look cute. You know, th those kind of uh, pattern are very long to prepare and very long to do the first time. But when you get to finish it, you fall in love with it. <laughs> it's like, oh, I need to share it very fast with everybody. Make sure that they, they have the time to do it for their loved one. So time to do the ears. So I grab on the head. And I will grab on the ears. It's the same thing I did with the, the mouth. So I grab a full stitch on it, on the ears, and a full stitch on the head. And I will stay on the same column. Because I want these ears to be very uh, similar both sides. So it's very important to create it. And I made sure that, you see the beige on top? Actually, I did that to make sure that my ears on the are the same height, both sides. It's a little cheat uh, option that I choose. So that way, I start from here and I'm going to the, to the lower part of the head. So I stay on the same column, on the head, and on the same 
pollen on the leaves. Almost finished. See, it's a brown color. It's not easy to work with with the camera. I did not pull on my uh, yarn yet. I will wait till I get a little bit lower and it will adjust the sewing like this. Look great. So I go under it like this. Almost finished. And I will attach those two tails together. Put that way. will be secure. There. And I dose the whole tail. So the next ear will be the same thing. One, two, three, no, three, three colors, and then I will add my other ears. So the other ears, I will put it a little bit faster after, because uh, I already sewn that part. And I forgot to remove it during the editing. Sorry, it's still here. There. Maybe it's easier for you to see it. Maybe that's why I keep it. I don't. I'm not sure. So I go and grab the stitch, pull on it, make sure everything is straight, and then continue and grab those two stitches. There. Pull. Finish my ears. That part takes a lot of time, I know. But it will be very cute after. And don't forget to follow the beige on the top to know where to end it your here so that way you see you, s you know that it will be the same eye both side. Almost reach the other tail, pull on it. There, nice. And then I will go and attach those two. Hide it in the ears. And something happened during the recording and I didn't have the harms. So I will show you the same technique with my uh, Santa Claus. So I will just go and grab the, the paw and you will do like this. And you, very important to pass your yarn through the neckline so that way you know that your both arm all will be the same height and the same place. So that's it. I forgot to record that part. So that's why you see a Santa Claus. So come back to my little monkey. Second paw. Sewing. I know it's very hard to see, sorry, but I, I put it flat and I will go and just grab one stitch on the side and one stitch on the other side. I'm doing like a full, full graph right now for sewing the, the legs. So the arms are attached one way and the legs on another kind of way. You will see better when I will turn my work on the other side. See, I pull to do an invisible seams. And I will turn it the other side. And I think the camera will be better. Yes, it is. So you will see how I sew it. Give you an idea. There. One full stitch on the legs, one full stitch on the body. So we'll do that. There. 
the full graph technique exactly almost finished and then I will show how to do how I attach the tail the tail is very easy and fast so you see the tail when I start is still there the tail of yarn and grab all the stitches and then I will attach those two together to secure it there you see the seam is very nice hide it in the belly ah, I do the belly button right now so I did the belly button with the, the beige and come back so you could practice yourself but belly button is very easy to do there and you go to the starting point and attach those two together the knot I did in the belly there and there cut cut tail grab one stitch keep a little bit of tail of yarn to attach it at the end very important I do that all the time so that way it's easier to secure your work so one stitch on the top tail and one stitch on the body and then I will flip that and continue one down one up one down one up and attach those two tail together tail of yarn there there you go so you attach it Ta -da! almost finished <laughs> all I need now is my two eyes and my little monkey will be just finished so I, I use like 30 centimeter of yarn usually to do the eyes and I put my button in the middle and when I use button it's not for kids under three years old because of risk of choking hazard so keep that in mind if you says for a smaller kids do your eyes differently no button so I put that in the middle so that way I could attach my yarn my uh, eyes better so I will go and bring it in the back of my ears like this I don't attach it yet and I will go on the other side of the tail bring it that one there and keep it like this for now I don't attach it now I'm just attaching this <laughs> I just attach my eyes when I'm done I'm sure that they are in the right place and everything so I bring my wool needle in the back of the ears And go the same thing with the other tail of yarn so now I know I like the way I put my eyes so I will go and do a double knot don't go too tight because you will change if the shape of your face and you don't want it so you go to knot and you will hide it in the middle of it and voila your little monkey is done I'm so happy we did, <laughs> we did it 35 minutes of talking by myself in my, in my little studio <laughs> oh la la but it, it was worth it it's very cute so I wish you a good day and see you next week for a new video and enjoy your life and never forget to never give up and tells everybody that you love them it's very important ciao ciao <laughs> I love him <laughs>